so hi everyone today i will be demonstrating you how you can build a ats resume checker system using multi agent orchestration using lang graph and llms so let's get started so first of all i would be demonstrating with the application that i have built so first of all uh, in the particular enter password you need to enter your google gemini api key this api key is free to create and you can check out my previous video on how to do it right now the application supports just google gemini but you can alter it out to support other llms as well now in the second part you need to upload your resume as you can see i have uploaded one of my resumes as pdf so this application supports pdf for now now once running for like say 2 to 3 minutes you would be able to get a lot of output from the llm itself where multiple agents have been created one agent to analyze the impact other agent to analyze the brevity style sections and then a final agent that combines the outputs from all the other agents and then gives a final verdict whether the resume is good or not so if you start looking at the responses right now the prompts are not optimized but the responses are looking quite good within impact there are certain sub sections like quantify impact you are getting a score repetition weak verbs you are getting an explanation also what you should be using what should be ignored similarly for brevity also there are sub sections within, within the major section and then a overall score for the section ki okay the brevity score would be 7.8 similarly for the impact score is 7.75 given by the llm styling as you can see the multiple sub sections here also consistency active voice personal pronouns etc and the final score 8.2 whether all the sections are mentioned we have a score for that also 7.8 and then a final verdict so the final score is given as 7.8 and what are the things that can be improved so this entire application has been built using lang graph and involving multi agent orchestration so now i will be demonstrating you how i use multi agent orchestration using lang graph to implement everything so just for a starter i have created sub agents which implies the different sub sections within every section that we have so we have a separate agent for quantifying impact a separate agent to check repetition a separate agent to check weak verbs etc then there is a big agent the main agent which combines the output from each of these sub agents and then gives a final overall score as you can see here this one now the overall score given by the main agent likewise you will be collecting from all the agents all the main agents and then giving it to a super agent that would be combining all the scores all the overall final verdicts given by the agents and then giving you a final score so this is how this particular resume ats checker has been built now let's deep dive into the code so i hope you already are aware of lang graph i have already covered lang graph in quite some detail in my previous videos so you can check that out if you are new to lang graph so the lang graph object that we would be creating would look something like this we would start handle clean so basically the text extracted from the pdf file would be first cleaned up to remove all the uh, extra punctuation marks or some a uh, special characters that has been used they would be removed then it would go to the sub agent so basically initially we'll start off with the impact agent and the first sub agent within the impact agent and that can be repetition that can be something else once the sub agent is able to give its feedback we would go and check whether the all the sub agents within the agent are completed or not so if you saw impact has four to five sub agents within inside the four to five subsections so are all the subsections covered if not it will again go back to the sub agent with a new sub agent so if repetition was the first one the next one can be something else if all the sub agents have been covered it goes to the next node that is handle agent so in case of handle agent we would be comprising all the results all the sub agents responses and then combining it to give a overall score as i showed you and then we would go to this particular node handle agent agent check which will eventually check whether all the agents are covered or not so if no all the agents are not covered we would again go back to sub agent with a new agent so if first agent was impact so we would start off with the sub agents of impact we'll cover all of them then get a overall score for impact if not all the agents are covered till now we will go to the next sub agent that was say for example sections so the first sub agent of sections would now get initiated so there are multiple loops as you can see one loop is here the other loop is here and once all the agents are also covered alongside their sub agents we will handle go to handle super agent 
So the super agent would do nothing. It will combine the overall scores from all the major agents like impact, sections, brevity, etc. And then give you a final score as you call, saw 7.8 in this case. So now I'll be very quickly running through the codes. I would be sharing the codes soon. So no need to worry. So here are multiple prompts that I've used. So first of the prompt that is used is to clean up the text. Uh, these are basic uh, prompts. You need to improve them if you wish to go for a uh, real world deployment. But uh, for a framework, I think this looks pretty fine. Uh, then we have a description for each of the sub agents of the main agent. So impact then impacts all the sub agents like quantify, impact, repetition, weak works. We have an explanation for that. Similarly for brevity, style, sections, etc. Then we have a separate description for all the major agents, impact, brevity, style, section. Then there are three main set of prompts that is for sub agent, agent and super agent. So sub agents are, if I give you an example, you are a resume expert, you need to analyze the given resume on. So now in the on you will go quantify impact. That is, as you can see, the explanation of quantify impact. Give a score on a scale of 10 and suggest improvements. So most of the, all the sub agent prompts that are subsections within a section will follow this particular sub agent prompt. All the major agents like brevity, impact will follow this particular prompt. You are a resume expert. You need to analyze the given resume on, for example, impact. That is the definition for impact that we have given. You need to summarize the below reports about a resume from your subordinates. So the subordinates would be the subsection agents that I talked about. The third one being prompt super agent. So again, it would also look something very similar to uh, what we had for agents. So you are a resume expert given the below feedbacks from different agents, rate the resume on a scale of 10. And then we have said different conditions like if score is less than three, it would be trash score less than five. It would be need major improvement, etc. Now we would be creating our land graph object. So first of all, I'm setting up my LLM object that is uh, using the Google API key as I've already told you. It is free to create. You can check out the channel how to create it. Next, we are jumping on to create the land graph object. So it will have all these state graph variables, sub agent feedback that would be getting updated with every sub agent feedback, agent feedback, history, as you can see, resume, final verdict, all pairs, sub agent, agent. So sub agent feedback and agent feedback are basically lists. So that will get appended for a given particular iteration that is going on. History is a variable that I have been using to accumulate everything that is done. So all the sub agent feedbacks, all the agent feedbacks, all the super agent feedback would also go into history. And the final drop downs that you saw into the streamlet app was coming from the history variable. So this is the most important part. I would say resume is basically the text of the PDF file. Final verdict is basically the final verdict given by the super agent. All pairs uh, is quite interesting. It uh, I have written a logic in such a way that I'm trying to figure out all the agent and sub agent pairs. So for example, if you're going for impact, so one of the pairs would be impact, quantify impact, impact repetition, impact weak works, impact verb tenses, etc. Rest of the flow remains very easy as I have been creating for my land graph objects. The first node is handle clean. So basically this particular node would be cleaning up the, uh, the text that we have extracted from the PDF using a prompt as I showed you. Handle sub agent, I think it is also quite straightforward as I showed you the prompt, we would be getting feedback for a given sub agent on the given resume text. Once this is done, as you can see, I'm updating the history variable here, agent sub agent and the current feedback for the sub agent. This is done and then all pairs agent dot remove. So basically we have got all the pairs of agent and sub agent combinations. One, once the sub agent is covered, we would be removing that sub agent. And then eventually we'll be checking on the length of the list, whether something is left or not. And we would be updating the sub agent feedback variable history, all pairs and agent. Similarly, once all the sub agents are done for a given agent, we will move to handle agent part where we will be repeating the same thing as we did, as we did above. We'll be getting the agent's feedback now using the prompt that I've already told you and then updating the overall section as you saw in the uh, demo that I showed you earlier, there was a section overall. So we'll be updating that particular key and then we'll be deleting that agent completely from all pairs variable. And then we'll be updating a few variables as you can see, history being the most important one. 
finally once all the sub agent uh, agents and sub agents are done we would be going to the super agent hand node where we will be updating the variable final verdict using the prompt as i showed you you are a resume expert take all the feedback and give a final verdict now we'll be adding all these functions as nodes to the workflow and then we are adding some conditional edges here so the loops that you were seeing in the uh, image that i showed you earlier was because of the conditional edges that we have added if you are new to the concept of conditional edges in langgraph i would request you to go back to the previous video on langgraph for beginners you would be able to understand every concept that is used in langgraph now here you can see that i am adding the edges workflow add conditional edges handle sub agent sub agent check so once the handle sub agent node is executed we would go to sub agent check function this particular function and then depending upon the condition if all the agents are covered we would go to handle agent because now all the agents are sub agents are covered we wish to get a overall feedback on that particular section if all the agents are not covered that is there is something uh, in the list as you are deleting the elements one by one you remember uh, we will again go back to the sub agent to check out which element is left which particular sub uh, subsection is not covered similar for agent check also we are doing the same thing we are checking uh, in all pairs whether all the agents are covered or not if any thing is present it would be still present because we are deleting everything so if there is a length of any value that means all the agents are not covered so depending upon that we are adding a conditional edge for after agent check as well now all these conditional edges are added we are adding some minor edges as well handle clean to handle sub agent so basically once clean is cleaning of the text is done we will straight away go to handle sub agent and then the other edges handle super agent to end this is mandatory you need to add an end condition always else your lang graph would never end next you need to compile your workflow and here you can see that this is a particular code this is not sync with the streamlet app this is how you can run it in python so i am running this particular code to load the pdf file and then clean uh, load the text from the pdf file once this is done this is the main part app dot invoke where we are initializing all the variables sub agent feedback is null agent feedback is null for now history variable is null resume is lines so basically the lines that we have read from the pdf file we are passing it as lines all pairs we are passing as agent and its subsection agent is agent sub agent is sub agent so basically it's the first agent's first subsection so it will always start with impact and the first subsection within it this particular part recursion limit colon 100 is required else your lang graph would break after some time if you wish to have a longer loop system you need to have a recursion limit as 100 or even a bigger number so you can see that started working out and then eventually you will get an output as i show you i hope this was useful this particular application you are able to build an ats system and improve on the prompt that i have used but this looks phenomenal i think i would be building over it as well thank you so much